Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to send out a notification when you change the owner of a lead. So when you reassign the lead, how does that new person get a notification? Well, in the standard UI, there's actually a checkbox that'll do it for you. So if a user goes in and manually reassigns a lead, you can check that box and that new lead owner will get a notification. However, what if you mass update leads or what if some automation rule changed a lead owner? We can automate that notification to go out. Now, there are many different ways you can create automation rules in Salesforce, but today I'm gonna to talk about a flow. We're gonna use a flow to do it. So I'm gonna create a new flow and this flow will fire when the record is updated. So I'm picking a record trigger flow. In my case, I'm doing the flow on the lead object, but you could apply it to really any object you like. So when the lead is updated, I wanna fire this automation rule. I don't wanna send an email every time the lead is updated. I just wanna send it when the owner is changed. And notice there's actually a criteria option here for when that field is changed, I wanna do something. So if the owner field change is true, that's when this automation rule is gonna fire and we actually wanna take action in this flow. We're not just updating fields on the lead, we might send an email or do other things. So now we've got a flow, it'll fire when the lead owner is changed, and what are we gonna do? So this is where we pick our action, and we're gonna pick an email alert. Now I'm gonna show you how to create your own email alert in a second, but assuming you'd already created your email template, this is where you select it, okay? You give the action a name, and then you pick the record you want this email template to be associated to. So essentially the lead record that fired this automation rule. And that's what you see me doing here. I'm actually finding the record that this automation rule is firing on and I'm picking that record's ID. All right, so now I've got a flow. This flow fires when I want it to fire. It sends the notification. It could do more things, but that's all it is for this, this video. And I'm gonna hit save. Save your flow, give it a name, and then don't forget to activate your flow. It won't actually fire until it's turned on. All right, so the email alert piece, how did that part work? How do you actually create your own email alert? Well, um, just create an email template. So go in and create a standard email template. Give it whatever name you want. Make sure that it's associated with the object that you care about. So in my case, it's leads again. So I'm gonna have to pick the lead object give it a subject, uh, really put it in a folder that's publicly accessible. So just make sure it's in a folder that's not private to you uh, to make sure you can find it for your automation rules. Give it a subject. And then really, if you wanted to, you could go into the uh, new email builder and make it really fancy. You could add images and headers and background colors. You could do really anything you want. But in my case, I'm just going to add a little bit of text because it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna add a rich text field and I'm just gonna add a little snippet for my email template. Again, you could make this as, as rich as you like. Then once your email template is saved, you go into setup and you actually create an email alert. What the email alert does is it lets you take your email template that you created and actually use them in your automation rules. So I'm gonna give my alert a name. <laughs> Again, I pick the object this alert is on and now I pick the email template. Now at the top, it defaults to just showing you classic email templates. So there's that little drop down to find lightning email templates. Okay, so just make sure you find your appropriate classic or lightning email template. And then you select who you're sending the email to. So the email alert actually has the recipient information in it. As part of the email alert, not only do you pick the email template, you decide who you send the email to. All right, there's some other options that you could do, but that's it, you hit save, and that is your email alert, okay? So that's how you create an email alert that you select and put into your flow. So assuming you use your email alert with your email template and you activated your flow, the next time you change the lead owner, that owner's gonna get an email, so I'm gonna change it away from me and back to me, and I'm gonna go check my email, and there is that simple email template that says I have a new lead. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.